Hello everyone, my name is Engineer Arjun Singh. Today I am going to tell you about the different kinds of diseases in timber. So let's begin. First disease is called as dry rot. In this disease, basically decomposition of timber fiber take place uh, by uh, the attack of uh, fungi. Various kinds of fungi decompose or reduce the uh, timber into fine powder. This uh, basically could uh, have been uh, the most possible reason of these uh, kinds of diseases could be by improper seasoning or uh, whether the timber has been exposed uh, or uh, kept under uh, pro uh, 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 higher moisture, moisture content and uh, has not been exposed to sunlight. To reduce uh, uh, this uh, disease basically uh, first step could be basically removing the uh, affected, uh, affected part and then applying paint to uh, or preservative to uh, the other part. No, the uh, other method could be by exposing the particular uh, uh, member of uh, timber to uh, proper sunlight because uh, sunlight uh, fungi, uh, fungus is basically killed uh, by sunlight. So this could be the method. Now the second disease is called as wet rot. This happens due to alternate uh, or uh, repetitive uh, wet and dry conditions in a particular uh, timber member. In this basically uh, uh, when water enter, uh, enters uh, the wound of timber it basically destroys or uh, ruptures the fibers of the timber and uh, this uh, basically uh, leads to rotting of the timber. This could also be uh, because of improper seasoning and when, when the uh, seasoning is done in higher moisture content and has not been uh, done properly. So that uh, this could be the uh, ma major reason. Now, uh, by uh, this, uh, these two diseases basically can be treated by different kinds of methods. First one is uh, basically surface uh, treatment of timber. Second one is uh, the soaking uh, of particular member of uh, timber in uh, uh, in preservative. Third one is hot and cold uh, uh, process. Now, uh, let's uh, discuss uh, the first one. In this, uh, basically. We apply a particular kind of preservative to uh, the timber which basically kills uh, or uh, stops the uh, uh, disease from, grow, uh, from growing. Now we have to apply at least two coats of uh, this uh, particular uh, preservative. After uh, drying of one coat then we have to apply the second uh, coat. In the second uh, method uh, which is the soaking one we basically uh, submerge the uh, timber into a particular uh, kind of preservative so that the uh, disease is basically killed. And in the third one, hot and uh, cold, we basically first uh, step is same as uh, submerged. We basically submerged uh, the timber member into a particular preservative and we make sure that the uh, preservative is properly uh, soaked in into the timber and then we basically heat up the uh, timber member so that the air, uh, air expands and creates uh, uh, pores uh, uh, in the uh, timber and then we uh, basically take out the timber and we uh, make sure that it is cooled down for at least uh, 24 or uh, uh, 48 hours. After that the air basically leaves a vacuum and the uh, preservative basically gets uh, soaked into the uh, vacuum and it is properly, uh, uh, the preservative properly gets uh, deeply into the timber and it re reduces the uh, risk of further uh, growth of, uh, this kinds of uh, these kinds of diseases. So thank you everyone for watching.